In this episode of Sailing Dark Angel, we start the next season by leaving the Bahamas and cruising back to Florida, where we can replace our crappy mic and start our boat repairs and upgrades. If you like our videos, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. It's free for you and really helps our channel. If you can read lips, let us know in the comments. We'll happily send you this clip for translation. I'd love to know what the heck I said. Our mic crapped out. Again. Looks like we picked the right day for heading back across to Florida. The very definition of fair winds and following seas. Our winds are anywhere around 12 to 14, sometimes it drops to about seven. And the seas are right behind us. I was wondering what those dark stripes are on the water and then I realized it's the Straits of Florida sign. We must be getting close. So here's the thing. We've been recording and recording and recording and dealing with a bad mic, which might be a bad mic, it might be a bad camera. It's a bad something, but we lost a whole pile of footage because the audio was terrible. It either scrambles and breaks up or creates all kinds of extra noise. We replaced the cables, now we've replaced the mic. This is our old mic. It's a Boya, whatever that means, with a dead cat. It's essentially the same mic as we have now, which is called a Moya. We're using right angle cables to try and take the stress off of the cables and see if we can't recover some of our footage, future footage. But we've also decided we're going to try these. So these are, uh, it's like a lav mic, it's a wireless mic, it's not a lav mic, it's got windscreens, it doesn't have windscreens. This went way sideways on us. And we're going to try and use them anyway and see if we can cut out some of the background noise and cut out some of the volume fading off of camera when the camera's pointed away from us because the dead cat setup that we use has the as the dead cat, the mic facing right here, which is great unless I turn the camera around, then the mic is facing away from me. And it's also a directional mic, a shotgun style mic, like this one. So when it's pointed away from us, our audio fades away. So hopefully these will make a difference. And we're gonna try them out today as we go and try out something else today. We're gonna try and get onto the dock here at uh, Lake Worth and put some chain markers in. The uh, zip tie ones that we were using have broken apart at, of course, the most critical uh, length that we use. So we're gonna try inserting these into the chain, but I think first we'll go out on the bow before we go to all the effort of going over to the dock and see if they actually fit our chain. I hope they do, because they're stupid expensive. Well, what happens if they don't? What are we doing then, Captain Dave? If they don't, we're gonna put new zip ties in and then we're gonna leave. So these things are insanely lightweight. I'm not convinced there's actually anything in them. The dead cat snaps onto this, which has a mic and is an independent recorder. The main reason we got them was so that we could plug in a lav mic 
which is a great idea, except they don't have dead cats for the lav mics. So I have to order dead cats for the lav mics. Otherwise, we're going to get the wind noise when we try to use the lav mics, which plug into these, which is a great idea. Now you got a wireless mic. The problem is you got to hang this great big thing on your shirt. Whereas with a lav mic, you just have the lav mic on your shirt, but there's no dead cat. You, you, you see the circles I'm going in here? It's got a spit filter, but it doesn't have a. Um, no. But it doesn't have a, a dead cat. Don't for pretend the you're as entertaining as you are here in like real life, there, buddy, because you're not. <laughs> You see how the mic was away from her and you couldn't hear any of that? We're gonna try these out today. Wish us luck. And actually, if it turns out to be the camera itself that has a problem with the mic input, that's a problem because this is a very expensive, stupid little camera that I can't afford to replace. And uh, worst comes to worst, we'll have to go back to using a remote mic. It works really, really well. And we could actually plug the lav mics into this and record on this and then match all the audio to the video and post, which is an enormous pain in the butt. With these, they actually, the receiver connects right to the camera to the mic input and they superimpose right on the camera and save us time. All right, I'm testing this little lav mic. I wanna see what the levels are like and right now they seem really high. So, <laughs> good night. Did they pick up Lisa's sneeze from inside the boat? Wow, that's an ugly mic. But until we get uh, dead cats for the lav mics, this will have to do. So I thought these were hard plastic, but apparently they're more like silicone, and apparently Lisa already knew that. I'm the dumbass. So let's go try it. Pop it in there like that. Wow, that's easy. No? Yeah, they fit, and they mark the chain. So, and they're removable. Cool, let's go do this. I think I need a bump, yep. just a little one. Oh. I have her. Very 3.7. 3. Oh, 3.7. 7. So about five feet. Oh, that looks pretty far. Getting your fill? Getting my fill. <laughs> For free. I love free. Free is a good thing. Good price. Good price. The bridle looks freaking terrible. 
We're gonna need to scrub that with a wire brush. That's not gonna go well. It's full. <laughs> Such a contrary little thing. Stick that out unless you're gonna use it. How much water do you want in the bilge? It's full. <laughs> The yellow. Is that what you're doing is yellow? Yeah. You'd think it'd be easy, but you know, you'd you want be me wrong. to spread it so you can stick it in. <laughs> Plus, we haven't rinsed this chain. I rinsed the first batch. Here we go. Go in. It's kind of like. Kind of, it's almost there. Hold please. Got it. All right, that's in there. Maybe green should be where you white is. Why? Because it's it's such a contrast between the white. You wanna swap them? Yeah, I do. I really do. Okay, swap them. Okay, so give me the... And apparently she likes to swap too. <laughs> Not as easy as it looks, folks. You don't wanna cooperate at all. How's that different from every single job on a boat? Oh my gosh. But they're supposed to cooperate for me. I think we should have got pink ones in honor of brand. Damn <laughs> it. Do you need me to spread that so you can stick it in? Yeah, I literally do. Remember, start on the link joint. And then give me another blue, please. So you're going blue, yellow, blue, yellow, or you're going yellow, blue, yellow, blue. It's completely screwed up now. I know, I totally messed up. My bad. <laughs> and through all this, we might have no audio at all. <laughs> all this banter lost, Oh. That is a humanity. Oh, Stop broke another nail. You you push it down. You can do the last one. And it's done. And now you can put the chain carefully back. No, now I'm gonna take the rest of the chain out and spray it off. Okay. So we have about, beyond the 180, we have another 15 feet, give or take. So we have 195 feet of chain. Last part of this story is that we put up little indicators here, the numbers for how what those uh, colors represent. So we're going to put them on the bottom of the lazarette now. Heavy birds over. Please shelter or something. 